So after seeing some two tones, I want to see what it looked like with the, the darker, brighter gold on the bottom. Um, not sure if I like this. Welcome back. Today is going to be part two of the truck fiasco of pulling off the molding and the problems I ran into and what I did to remedy it. So I hope y'all enjoy. If y'all don't, lower your standards or don't, I'm over it. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. Let's get started on this. So on this side, I um, had quite a bit of stuff up in here. And then the bubbles that was down here, I made sure I got through to them. I had a little dent that the the weather stripping was hiding, which is very shitty body work. Why would you just cover a dent with weather strip or molding, pretty much? But uh, I sanded all that where it's smooth to the touch so I can uh, get it wiped down. I'm going to get that sanded and see how well I can get this. All this is super smooth to the touch. Feels great. I just kind of blend it in. I spray it. And then when I get to the darker spots, I pull back a little and just kind of mist it where it kind of looks like it's supposed to be that color. It's it's not, but like I said, whoever painted this, um, they didn't do it by the factory code. They went a little bit darker. I guess they threw some, you know, a drop of black in the clear or in the paint or whatever, but it's supposed to be lighter gold and it's the... I don't know what you want to call that, darker gold, but she's still gold. So I'm going to get it painted and see how this thing turns out. It's just a few little uh, passes with the can. Um, I did find a bubble or two that uh, I did not see in like the rust area, like right there. So I need to resand that, but I need to get more paint and... Uh, yeah, I'm just a little bit aggravated about that. After seeing some two tones, I want to see what it looked like with the, the darker, brighter gold on the bottom. Um, not sure if I like this over over this or not. I mean, this is pretty close match, but it's not perfect. Um, yeah, the bird came back. My owl fell down, and he decided to come poop on my truck. But uh, this is a little bit better match, but it's still lighter. And I'm looking at two-tone trucks, and Chevy actually released a gold with like a dark gray, almost a black on the bottom. And uh, I was looking at that, and I wanted to see what a darker gold would look like. So this is the uh, passenger side, and excuse me, that was the driver's side. This is the passenger side. <sighs> Long day. So, uh, once I pull the tape off, I'll get a better idea of what it's going to look like. But I will have to blend in back here. Um, I'll either have to fade it or tie in, take all that off, and take the bumper off and paint all that. We're on the driver's side. I painted it, and then I kind of just blended it in a little bit. So, you can't even really tell. And I'm not sure. I may have to just go with that for now. But these cans are like $18 a piece versus um, I got two cans for like, I don't know, $12 on, of this gold. It's the uh, Krylon Fusion Metallic Gold. It's a paint and primer in one. Um, so yeah, I, I may just go on with this. And then paint like the mirror cap to kind of tie it in. I'm not 100% sure. Um, it is not a show truck. I'm just trying to make it look a little bit better than what it did. I couldn't take that anymore. It was it was just killing me. It didn't match the other side. It was too, too bright in my opinion. Too dark. Um, brought the wife out here and showed her. She agreed. So I went and got two more cans of the Harvest Gold. And... Uh, Sanded that down again, and we did some layers. I'm still, I got a run right here that uh, I'm just kind of letting dry so I can 
sand that down and get it but i think it's looking good um it will have to take you know a couple more layers but as you can tell it it blends in a lot better than the other one did so see how this goes all right guys that's another layer another blending i think it looks really good compared to what it did before so you got the door weather strip or uh, molding removed it's blended and painted up close it probably looks like crap but i don't care about that but uh should take some good pictures though what do y'all think and yes the bird shit on this mirror too <sighs> so when all said and done it should look like this side except for i'm thinking about re-hitting this little spot and uh putting some filler in it just a little bit just see if i can make it look a little bit better i got the paint to do it i got the uh the stuff to do it so i might as well try to do it while i'm in the middle of the project right all right got that spot filled got the primer on it we'll uh reshoot this side by shoot i mean rattle can it re-rattle can the other side add another layer but uh yeah, that's about where it's going to be at. I'm not uh, not going to get too more involved in it from here. I do want to paint this part of the grill as uh, gray. Um, I'll probably hit it with that color so it kind of ties in there to there to there. I think it'll look better that way. Well, guys, that's about as good as it's going to get for me doing the job. Um, running out of spray paint. The stupid nozzle wanted to spray inconsistent. These things right here. For as expensive as they are, for this to splatter everywhere, uh, it was terrible. I'm not happy at all. But you're going to have these projects. You're going to have these projects that don't turn out how you expected. You just got to keep working with it. Um, I think now I have a reaction with the clear in some of the areas. I don't know. I'm going to let it dry and call it done. I don't care at this point. This side has a major run a reaction right there can you see that i'm just i'm beyond over this right now all right guys i got tired of the bullshit matte black ultra down the line we'll pull the tape off and uh let it dry after this i do have to do some touch-ups here or there but i'm actually not hating it Got black on the bumper i may do the mirror black to kind of tie it in i'm not disappointed at all yeah actually like i said i do not hate it that's the first layer on this this is ultra matte it shines on a gloss and then it dries off to a mat you can still see where some of the runs was in the previous clear coat that i didn't find all of like I said, I'm not going for perfection. I just want this truck to look halfway decent while I'm going down the damn road. And here it is with the tape off of it. I actually think it looks pretty damn good now that I've committed and got it done. Um, it hides the runs and stuff like that. Um, you don't see the big dent. I was able to get most of that out. Um, you can see some overspray right here above the tape. I'll be able to get that out with just a little bit of alcohol and a wrap. Same with this side. This side came out good. Um, had a dent there and a ping in the door right here. Got all that out. It's all smooth. <sighs> Looks really good. Got it to tie around behind the bumper just fine. I was going to do the strip across the, the bed here, but the bed's dented right there, and I didn't see any need of just painting that for now. But a lot of people don't know this was the actual... Um, collar combo on these trucks was the the black bottom matter of fact there's one in here in town here so um did get a little bit of the overspray up there but like i said the, i'll clean that up i just want to let this dry a little before i do anything but uh what do y'all think of the two-tone i think i should probably hit that with the satin black to kind of just tie it all in and this grill i'll do satin and i'll try to figure out something for the middle i'm not sure what to do about that middle it's gray, but we'll see. So this 
this is the finished product. I'm not sure how well the paint's going to hold up. Uh, I'm not sure I like it yet or not, but I don't hate it. Um, it's just something I have to get used to. But it is uh, out of a rattle can. It is Satin Black Ultra from Rust-Oleum. It kind of goes with the truck. Like I said, this was like a factory option. I'll show a picture. And then that right there probably needs to be painted, kind of tie it in, maybe even paint the bottom. Maybe with all that, it'll tie in good. I don't know. Still loving the side exhaust, though. Um, I do think a set of 20s, maybe dark black wheels or something like that, would kind of complete the lower half being black. I've even seen a lot of these that are two-tone that have the fender flares that kind of tie it in. Not sure I want to go that route. Um, kind of up in smoke. I think I'm just going to leave it alone for now. And uh, when I can get it professionally painted, that's the route I'll go. But, yeah. There it is. The only thing I have left that I really want to do is I do have the rear drop shackles for this truck. And uh, I don't know how well y'all can see how close that is up there. And that's further. It'll just level it down so it should be straight across. That's what I'm hoping at least. But uh, yeah, I ran the, uh, the wipe over it, the alcohol, and made sure I got the, the line cleared up above it because I didn't want it to dry that way. And like I said, I was going to go across the tailgate, but it's got a big dent there, so I wasn't too worried about that. But let me know what you think. Let's run water up in here, which goes to the hinge. It drips from that seam. I would turn around, I'd have made it this far. Look back now, that would be too smart. I'll shoot for the stars even when it gets hard. Put my faith in the Lord with the 60 bars. I won't turn around, I'd have made it this far. Look back now, that would be too smart. I'll shoot for the stars even when it gets hard. Put my faith in the Lord with the 60 bars. I won't turn around, I won't.